40 plus miles per hour winds and Jen has to go down there and there's water that's been spraying up over this part of the rock and she's just letting it smack her in the back and then there's my mother trying to take a picture she is blowing in the wind Good morning. Good morning. We but actually did see the northern me. lights last night, but we'll we talk did. a little bit more about that later. So today is quite a little bit more windy, and I think we're possibly, like there was a little bit of dusting of snow, and maybe about one inch later. So today I think it's just going to be braving the wind. Every yes. day has been a like completely different rain, and then sun, weather, and then yeah. it feels like almost different seasons every single day. This morning we went back to the lighthouse on the other side, and now we're here at Black Sand Beach. Um, we'll put up the name, uh, we won't try to pronounce it, yes. but the cool thing we just found out as we were searching on our phones, that the black sand itself is created by lava flowing into the water and being cooled instantly. So we're gonna go touch it. Yeah. Let's go. See, the mountains kind of Plenty disappear of into the clouds, but there are all of these little mounds of rock. The thing we know about them thus far is these are lava fields and lava rifts. Lava rift, and a long, long time ago, people would stack the stones as landmarks and also because it would bring them good luck. That's you see them as you drive this southern road, but yes. in this one particular area, they went there's crazy. a bunch. I'm not quite sure how old they are, Yeah, but they are everywhere. It's a pile of stones and I in no way transformed it. Underneath is the same gravel from the beach. How's the driving going? Very easy. So, so much information. Don't hold back. Right. So, an wow, it's so we blue. we just drove the car up a massive mountain. Yep, a canyon. Canyon. The name right. And now. we are now in this beautiful canyon. The water is actually you can see pretty ice blue. Well, not ice blue, but bluer down at the bottom, the bedrock. It has carved out this entire path over since the. Ice, ice age, two million years ago. Two million? Two One million. million? Two million? And we're gonna walk on down this way. Yeah. Is everybody cold? Yeah. Everybody I'm warm? Very, very warm. I'm Ve cold. So warm. Jen's cold. She's been complaining the entire time. No, I haven't. <laughs> so we came out on top of this <coughs> railing that's kind of built out on top of the mountain. And the water is so clear. You can see just how glimmer of blue it is. Look at it, just falling all off the mountain. It's totally smoothed out the rock, and this is how it ended up forming the whole path. It's amazing. Every time we think we've seen something like show stopping in Iceland, it's like, oh, we go to the next place. It's like, this is totally different, but so cool. It's like, every place takes your breath away. I was just saying, a more. It's kind of fascinating how they build something like this because we're technically on It's built on top of something like this like this little ledge that comes out And it doesn't make sense to me how you begin to build something like that because clearly people used to walk out onto this Little path which you can no longer do All right, and then there's the whole path that it's kind of carved out It's so massive. We were just saying so many of the pictures that you take doesn't really capture like the grandeur of things, like the massive 
vastness of it. So another day done on our Icelandic adventure. Today we did a lot, but before we talk about today, we wanna to talk about last night. Last what did night. we do last night? We smashed our faces up against the window. <laughs> Waiting for Santa. And watched just like flickers and faint northern lights and the two that i'm traveling with didn't really believe me so i made certain that when we set our alarm for 10 to midnight that i i like pulled all my clothes on went outside so my eyes could adjust to the dark to make sure i was actually seeing what i was seeing and it kind of was like lifting up off the mountain and then it started to change as i was watching it so i ran back in the cabin and got them but it kind of came and went so there were times when it was not active so we watched it for a little while and we got very cold so we came back inside you could actually see it from the window of our cabin the back window of our cabin so then we were all kind of like sitting in bed together looking out to the night sky and then getting ready to sleep again and then yes. the i saw them again so i threw my glasses back on and they got really active yeah. for just a couple later in the evening like closer to midnight which yes. we read uh, they were very they were a uh, greenish color not vibrant mm -mm. almost like a green gray that would kind of change and you almost thought it was a cloud like you weren't sure if what you were looking at was actually the northern lights and it's something i feel like people don't really talk about yeah or tell there, you there were a lot of times that we would just look at each other like do you think that's the northern yeah. lights is that the northern lights? and then we started to see it to change that last time for sure it was so we're hoping to catch them a couple more times these next couple nights because you need solar activity clear skies kind of like a good combination yeah. so today was another good day on our yes. icelandic adventure even though there was like we kind of only had three specific things to do we were making our travel more to eastern iceland yes. while we were traveling there were just amazing landscapes it was almost like every 10 minutes we would go to a completely different terrain there was lava fields there were lava caves there was a canyon there was a beach yeah. there were cliffs there were mountains there were like and now here we are at our cottage at our amazing uh next airbnb with like huge uh, floor to ceiling windows and it was about like 15 20 minute drive up the mountain. Yep We saw many Took sheep. A good minute. I asked Jen maybe two or three times like make sure this is the Airbnb that we're going to because <laughs> we are kind of like up in the mountains and Was just the vacation spot we needed. Yes, yeah. and we'll actually insert some clips right now because we're really excited to just Chill for the evening, make some chili, and maybe try some Icelandic beer. So here's a few clips of us actually trying the beer um that we picked up earlier today. All right, here are the three Icelandic beers we got, and you can actually only buy beer or wine in a certain um, store. You cannot buy them in the grocery store. So let's give these guys a- Gluten-free. Try, oh yes, Jen found a gluten-free beer as well. So this is lava. This is um, from a local town, I can't remember. Selfoss, they said. Selfoss. Yep. It's a smoked imperial stout. It smelled interesting. <laughs> Oh, I like it. Do you really? It's smooth but like kind of sweet. What you guys may not know is that Morgan never drinks beer. She does not really like beer. That I like. Ooh, but the smokiness is weird. It makes me feel this like this is I'm the having... chili that Michelle made for us. It looks so delicious. I felt better the first drink I had. It's kind of rich. Yeah, yeah. it's rich. Full flavored. But don't you kind of feel like you're eating a meat? Einstock okay. White Ale. All right, let's see what you think of this. I have a feeling I won't like this one. That's not bad. Not bad? Light and smooth and oh. bubbly. Carbonation. I don't think it's carbonated, it's very smooth. Okay. Very smooth. Have a bite. Yeah. It's very good. Oh, I can just like smell the beer, like as you guys eat. It's a very, it's a very good ale. So what I thought was interesting was that all the gluten-free beers were like the light beers, which is interesting. So I'm kind of um, curious to see what this tastes like. Yeah, it tastes like a Bud Light, like a light beer. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We it's okay. We tried. Yeah. All right, so that's going to do it for today's day in Iceland. We Another have some, day done. Yeah, amazing. Uh, we have some exciting things for tomorrow. Yes, that we're, so stay tuned. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.